hello friends welcome to my channel code blocks in this video i want to tell you another we put a next problem and that is the find the sum of common alphabet in the earlier video i told you how to solve um, the how to find the sum of uncommon alphabet and in this case we have to find uh, the sum of uncommon alphabet so first of all your task is you are given it two character digits and in the main method and your task is to extract the uh, common alphabet okay to extract the common alphabet we have to uh, you we have to um, uh, use a list okay so two character are given so i have to we have to take two list list one and list two in list one put uh, the all elements of input one and inside list two in uh, put all the elements of input two okay now you have to uh, in the earlier video i told you how to find uncommon alphabet and in this video in this case uh, we have to find the common alphabet uh, to get the common alphabet of two list we have to use written all method okay written all method how to use first of all we have to use list one then dot then written all method and inside then we have to put list two this written all method always return common alphabet okay return common alphabet and uh, it store this common alphabet into the this list okay written all method always return the common alphabet of list one and list two and it return all the common alphabet into the this list one okay and now i am getting uh, first our my first task is complete extract the common alphabet and now uh, i have to find uh, get their sq sq values it's easy okay uh, to get sq, SQ values and uh, calculate sum i have to take a for loop to traverse the list one and then i, I am uh, calculate the sum as well as getting the sq values so i have to type cast because this is a character the alphabets uh, as a character and uh, list one dot get of i and taking here i is equal to zero i less than list one dot size and then i plus plus okay and finally find the sum of digit uh, sum of digit of sum uh, that means ask you okay. okay so it's very easy so behind this problem the behind the logic is we have to use uh, we we have to use the help of list okay and uh, the main method is return all method it returns uh, common alphabet okay remind these things in mind now comes to coding part okay so first of all we have to create two list uh, and put the uh, array elements into the um, list okay so now put the first input uh, element uh, all element of input uh, one into the list one okay and now create a second list list 2 to store the elements of the input 2 and now uh, to uh, your task is to find the common alphabet to get the common alphabet we have to perform one operation list one dot written all method and inside this we have to pass list two okay 
now uh, all the common alphabets are stored in the list one and we have to perform the sum of uh, we have to perform uh, we have to get the ascii values of those common alphabet and uh, we have to perform the sum their sum okay sum of the ascii values so integer sum is equal to zero and traverse the list one to get access or to get the elements or to get the common alphabets list one dot size and then i plus plus and then thereafter uh, sum is equal to sum plus we have to type cast because the alphabets are character okay so now get uh, the alphabet list one dot get of i okay and so now now we have to perform we have to perform last operation that is sum of digit operation okay so integer n is equal to get sum of sum we have to perform uh, sum of digit operation and after um, after performing sum of digit operation if n greater than 0 then we have to perform again sum of digit operation if n greater than 0 then n is equal to get sum of n and uh, finally we have to return the value of n we have to do this because uh, and our uh, sum of digit operation uh, will return a value and that value must not be exit than 10 that means not greater than 10 that's why we have to perform again sum of digit operation so static integer get sum integer n and we have to perform sum of digit operation that's why we have to take uh, in uh, now while an integer sum okay this is sum is equal to zero and then take while loop and while in not equal to zero and your reminder is equal to n module 10 and then sum is equal to sum plus reminder and then um, n is equal to n divided by 10 okay and after that finally we have to return sum so now check the output okay so this is the code so it shows 8 because uh, here uh, the common alphabets are uh, b and c so ascii values of b is 98 and c is 99 and their sum is i think uh, 98 and plus 99 so 197 okay as because 197 is greater than 10 then we have to perform again uh, perform sum of digit operations okay so 197 so perform sum of digit means uh, 1 plus 9 plus 7 that is 17 as 17 greater than 10 we have to perform another sum of digit operation okay that means 17 so sum of digit is 1 plus 7 that is 8 okay so that's all for this video and the um, in the description you will get the source